First thing you want to consider is the berth size of your tent. Usually, most campers say that the berth size or the scale of the tent is the most important. So you want to get this right first before you can start to consider anything else. When I talk about berth size, I mean the amount of uh, people you can fit inside your tent. And generally speaking, for a weekender or festival tent, you go from a one-man to a three-man tent. If you're heading away for the weekend on your own or in a couple, then a two or three-man is usually ideal. If you have quite a lot of gear with you, you tend to want a bit more space. So you usually find that a two-man is ideal for one person and a three-man is ideal for two people. That way you can get more comfortable space for sleeping as well as all the rest of your gear inside your tent. Next on the list to check is the assembly type. And here we usually have two different styles. One is polled and one is pop-up. You'll often find that polled is the most common style of tent you'll find on a camping field. However, it can be a bit bulky and can take a bit longer to put up. If you're looking for convenience, then go for the pop-up tent. It's really easy to put up, usually in about five to 10 seconds, and then it just needs pegging out. One thing to consider when you're looking at the assembly type is the pack size. Pole tents are naturally more compact because you can fold the poles away, whereas pop-ups generally are slightly larger. So if you're heading away for the weekend with some mates, then a pop-up tent is ideal because you can throw it in the boot of your car. However, if you're going away for a festival or if space is more of an issue, then go for a pole construction because generally they're more compact, so easier to carry. The final thing to consider when you're looking for your weekender tent is the features that the tent may have. Some of these are more important than others, uh, but they're all worthy of some consideration, i.e. waterproofing, windproofing, the amount of ventilation the tent can have, or condensation proofing, and then additional features such as if it's got a porch or if it's got fresh and black qualities. With the ever-changing weather that we have in the UK, waterproofing and windproofing are required. So when looking for a tent, make sure it has more than about 2,000 mil waterproofing and it can resist up to about 50 km an hour winds, which is about gale force 5, gale force 6. Next, you want to consider that your tent reduces condensation, but also is ventilated. So when searching for a tent, have a look for a double walled skin. So you have a skin on the outside of your bedroom, but also an outer shelter, which is waterproof and windproof. This way, it makes sure that your tent is airy and moisture free. If you think you're going to take quite a bit of gear with you, then make sure the tent has got a porch. So in our range, if it's got a porch, it's classed as an XL. This means you have an extra bit of room inside the tent, but also porch room to stash your bag or your small table or your cooking equipment to help you on your camping trip. Also have a look for stash pockets inside the tent. If you've got a head torch or a book or an iPad or whatever you're gonna take with you, then these can be quite handy, especially if you're rummaging around at night for your head torch. One of the more advanced features to look for in your tent is the fresh and black or blackout bedrooms. So if you don't wanna wake up at the crack of dawn at 4 a.m. and you want a good night's sleep, the fresh and black tends to give you about 99% darkness, even in broad daylight. The second part of our fresh and black technology is the fresh. With this, it contains a fresh material on the outer fabric of the tent, which contains some form of titanium ion coating. This means that it reduces the amount of sun's rays that impact your tent, which can reduce the heat up to about 17%. As well as this, it blocks more UV rays and stays cooler in summer. So if you're going to a summer festival or if you're taking your tent abroad, then the fresh and black fabric is ideal for those sort of trips.